suffered heavy casualties, but Bubsy has left the planet. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. At approximately 4,500 hours, our majestic queens soundly defeated the furry villain and placed it into custody. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one bothered to take the stolen rockets from the culprit. Within seconds, it had constructed a working model of the X-1 rocket that brought it to our planet. Here to explain what happened next is Rayon's most renowned scientist, Professor Woody Nerdopowitz. Ahem. <clears throat> Using the stored atom capacity he'd built up in his fur. <laughs> now pay attention! This is important information! Please, Professor. Continue. Uh, thank you, General. As I was saying, using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Now then, using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. Which, I'd like to add, was stolen at the expense of the Woody Water and Power Company. You'll find this reflected in next month's electricity bill. <gasps> Really, if I could be allowed to continue using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. Using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. The prisoner was able to make an escape. <gasps> now, this cloud does have a war lining. Our understanding is that the hairy fiend did not procure enough rockets to build a complete model. Professor? Uh, yes, General, you are correct. For example, this ship has neither an oscillation overthruster nor a flux capacitor. Ahem. <clears throat> Without these items, the ship's secondary inversion nasal invariant beam will emit a tachyon pulse that... In short, Mr. Fuzzy will find the rockets will not be able to return to Earth. Instead, it should be stranded somewhere between Saturn and Uranus. I've just been informed that we've been able to establish a link with the rocket's onboard camera. <laughs> That's the wrong feed! Try channel B12! Now, no one can stop our invasion plans. Earth and all its war will be ours! <laughs> At approximately 4,500 hours, our majestic queens soundly defeated the furry villain and placed it into custody. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one bothered to take the stolen rockets from the culprit. Within seconds, it had constructed a working model of the X-1 rocket that brought it to our planet. Here to explain what happened next is Rayon's most renowned scientist, Professor Woody Nerdopowitz. Ahem. Using the stored atom capacity he'd built up in his fur. <laughs> <laughs> now pay attention! This is important information! Please, Professor, continue. Uh, thank you, General. As I was saying, using the stored atom capacity he'd built up in his fur. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Now then. Using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. Which, I'd like to add, was stolen at the expense of the Woody Water and Power Company. You'll find this reflected in next month's electricity bill. <gasps> really? If I could be allowed to continue? Using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. Using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. The prisoner was able to make an escape. <gasps> However, this cloud does have a wool lining. In addition to procuring 32 rockets, the specimen took far more atoms than the rocket's engines can handle. I predict this will cause an inversion loop overload of the X-1's primary core thruster, resulting in a hyperbolic cascade zoomer reaction that will tear the very fabric of the space-time wool continuum. <sighs> the Bobcat of Skylinus will find himself hurtling through time to an earlier period in his planet's history. Our sensomatic screens lost track of the rocket somewhere around the Dark Ages. Thank you, Professor. Now, I'd like to grandstand a bit, if you don't mind. By all means, General. Now, no 
one can stop our invasion plans. Earth and all its war will be ours! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 